This video will be looking at doing the mid-stride keys for your walk. Walk cycles are fairly technical to do, so the first thing you want to do is figure out your contact positions, and that means where your feet will actually be making contact with the floor. I'm actually just going to fix this foot real quick. So in the keyframe that we did previously, the left foot here is making contact with the ground for the first time, and he's about to put full pressure on his foot and his leg uh, as he stands on it. But we're actually going to do the keyframe previous to this, where all the weight is going to be on this right leg. So what we're going to do is click into the timeline, click on frame 3, make sure that you're on the master peg that uh, is for the entirety of the rig, make sure that's uh, collapsed, Insert a keyframe, right click, insert keyframe, F6. Click on frame 1, we're actually going to remove this keyframe, right click, select delete keyframe. Now in frame 2, right click, and select insert keyframe. Now with the transform tool and the tools toolbar, we're going to make adjustments to this to position it uh, as if it were the previous frame. So this is going to be the position for our previous keyframe. And once that's done, now we need to make sure that this foot here, the left foot that's making contact with the floor, uh, is not slipping. And we're going to do that by clicking the onion skin option right here in the tools toolbar. We're going to turn that on. And you can see now we're given handles that show us uh, previous keyframes and drawings. Here we have this green shape, which shows our previous key drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down shift and align that left foot with where it's going to be in the next frame. You can nudge your selection using the arrow keys left and right if you need to. So let's turn the onion skin off. Now concentrating on that contact foot, if you toggle to the next frame, you can see it looks like it's still in the same position, or making contact at least at the same position. I'm actually going to move this, nudge this down a bit using the arrow key. There we go. So now I'm going to do another previous keyframe. I'm going to do it by doing the same thing. I'm going to place a keyframe, reposition the figure, the rig, and then make sure that feet aren't sliding. Once we have our position, we're still making sure that the left foot is not sliding around using the onion skin. Now, I only want to see my previous keyframe, but we're getting multiple frames here of images in the onion skin. So with this handlebar that has appeared on the cursor, we're going to grab it, hold down on it, and move it left so it only shows the keyframe next to it. And once that's done, we're going to do the same thing for the right foot. Here, our third keyframe was the keyframe that we did initially. As we can see, the right foot is making contact with the ground, about to take a step. So the keyframes that we're going to do afterwards are going to be that right foot making that step.
So let's go back into the timeline, right click, insert a new keyframe, and reposition your drawing. Now when checking the contact position for the right foot, we only want to see the previous frame, so grab the handle on the left hand side and reduce it so we only get the previous frame. Now the last frame that we're going to do is actually going to be a copy of our first frame, so what we're going to do is click on the first frame, right click, select copy cells from timeline, control C, click uh, right here in the fifth frame, which is going to be our last frame, right click, select paste cells in the timeline. Now we're going to turn onion skin on, and we're going to match that contact foot. And if you look at what we have now, we have all the contact positions for that walk.